All right, Grant, thanks. Election Day is just about a month away, and voters in Spartanburg County have some major decisions on the ballot, including that penny sales tax. Before you vote, it's crucial to know how the money would be used if the referendum's carried over. 7 News' Elise Devlin breaks down everything you need to know. In just a few weeks, Spartanburg County will choose whether they want to renew the penny sales tax or not. And if it does pass, many major county and state roads like Highway 29 here will be completely transformed and improved for drivers. Spartanburg County's asphalt roadway condition score is a 57.5 out of 100, meaning the county is failing. But soon presented on voters' ballots in a month will be an attempt to fix this. The penny would fund 577 projects all across Spartanburg County. The penny sales tax is a 1% sales tax that is already in place and was overwhelmingly approved by voters in 2017. If it's renewed again this year, the money will go towards improving roads instead, and it's expected to generate $478 million over its six-year period. Not to make light of any tax, but it's just not a tax that uh, hits you real hard. You pay for it a little tiny bit along the way. You know, your food is exempt, your drugs are exempt, certain medical supplies are exempt. The roads that would be worked on are selected by the county's engineering department, who considers things like traffic count and the condition of the pavement. There's also a second system used to determine which roads would be fixed. Roads were chosen by a six-member commission of our peers, and what they did is they looked at growth projections, they looked at safety, and they looked at volume. I mean, if this is a high volume road, then it was prioritized. If it's an unsafe intersection, it was prioritized. The county has ranked the importance of the road projects they would execute and has organized it into six tiers. Therefore, tier one projects would be funded and in effect before tier two projects and so on. One of our main priorities ought to be uh, those things that people can't do for themselves. So, so the infrastructure, the roads and the bridges uh, of Spartanburg County are a primary function of county government. Aside from poor road conditions being an inconvenience for drivers, county leaders are emphasizing safety concerns. We are number one in South Carolina in tra traffic fatalities. In fact, three people died over the weekend. 34 to 39 percent of the revenue would come from visitors if we say yes on November 7th. The voter registration deadline is October 6th. If you would like more information on how to register to vote or how to update your information, head to WSPA.com. In Spartanburg, Elise Devlin, 7 News. And there is a full list of the road project categories, how much money would be sent on each one. You can check it all out on our website if you'd like to learn more ahead of Election Day.